Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove duplication. In the previous video, we left off here where we have the exact same data. Now, this should not happen. Imagine the same customer have the same product in the database. Now, like a customer cannot have like the same product in wishlist because later I'm going to show this product in their profile that I don't want to duplicate those product, right? So this should not happen. Also, you might think if it exists here, remove it. If it doesn't exist, you can keep it. Those things work, but in the front end, let's say if you add it to the wishlist, currently we didn't handle, like if someone click on this one, it should add it. If someone click again, it should remove it. We didn't work on this one, but it shouldn't duplicate the data. Imagine someone is sending an Ajax request with a custom button. And if it, they are like adding it to the wishlist at an store, this is going to duplicate this one. So one of the way would be like, you can have a quick search, a lookup to the database and see if all of those records exist. Let's say if this record exists and they all match together with the request that is coming from the user, do not do anything. Otherwise create this one, but this is laudable. There is an easy way of doing it. So instead of using create, you can say update or oops create this function exists in eloquent and this is very helpful just save it for now now i will come to the database let's remove everything for now i will remove everything now i will come to my app refresh it i will add it to the wish list since this has the active clause it is not going to add if i click again because this is calling another function for us if i check the javascript if you do not remember, it is ca calling this one, which we have not handled the remove, but we'll do in the next video. And I refresh my database. I have one record. Now I will come to the front end and I will click again. It again send a request with a success, which we console a lot. But if I check my database this time, it doesn't have this information. And this is me like way, way easier than having a lookup or like worrying about how would you handle the duplication and how you prevent this one. So I hope it has been informative, very short video and quick one. And this is the power of Laravel and update or create. So in the next video, we are going to handle how we can remove it from the wish list. Also, we are also going to handle how we are going to activate. Let's say if someone click active, like add it to the cart. If someone refresh the page, it should automatically detect this is in your cart and your button should be activated. So that is what we do in the next video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.